start our section today. Sometimes I look at my career, which has been so focused on this issue, and I feel 
years that I've come full circle. Here we are again talking about, I'm glad this time, I know Eliza, you're involved in this society and nature rather than the other way around. But I think if, you, if we analyze those processes and the attempts that have been made by the communities globally, social and natural science communities, of bringing these two communities together into joint framing of the problems we face in the world today and, and, and joint efforts to address those problems, then it's less than of a circle but more of a spiral. I think we are making progress and I think ICSU and ISSC have in the last four or five years worked extremely hard together to ensure that we're not just uh, talking about bringing these communities together but that we put in place at the international level the kind of institutional frameworks that support that kind of dialogue and that start funding the type of research and activity that is necessary to bring the communities together. And that framework is Future Earth, which I think, Gordon, you will be talking about more later. It's a complex, been a complex rearrangement of the inter national institutional architecture, but I think Future Earth provides us with a unique opportunity and a unique context within which we can take talk about partnership between the scientific communities towards practice <coughs> of such partnership. The ISSC has been working very hard in the field of global environmental change and sustainability in the last few years to ensure that within that new context, social scientists can also play a leading role in integrating the disciplines. So for example, we in 2012, we published a knowledge framework called the Transformative um, Cornerstones of Global Change Research for Social Science, no, of Social Science for Global Change Research, which I will be talking about a little bit more tomorrow. We've published in 2013 the World Social Science Report on Changing Global Environments. Um, I think these kinds of issues showing, showcasing what it is that the social sciences bring, not in parallel to the natural science community, but bring to an integrated effort, are important ways in which um, we start claiming a space for the social science voices to be part of framing the issues that we address. So I'm very excited about continuing this conversation in the context of new international uh, institutions such as Future Earth and to explore the way forward um, in this further collaboration between ITSU and ICC. Thank you very much. Okay, before we uh, start the first uh, section, uh, I would like to invite Dr. Manuel Limonte uh, to address Words. I'd like to take uh, advantage of this opportunity of the microphone <laughs> to greet and to thank very deeply to this uh, lady, Elisa Reis. She is the main organizer of this meeting. She has been very worried about all the things and she prepared all the details <coughs> of this activity. Also, taking advantage as well, I'd like to greet uh, Alice Abreu. She was the former, uh, she's the former director of this office. So this office precisely was here and moved from here to Mexico. So thank you very much for all the work. Well, actually, I also like to take advantage, advantage of the microphone to greet some other uh, personalities and important participants, Professor Carlos Nobre, who is present here, uh, escorting us in this uh, meeting, uh, Gerson Lima, Professor Gerson Lima, he was the, the person through Fabers uh, most interested in this meeting. He, he also is a member of our regional committee, so we have had a great support from him uh, from a long time. So thank you very much. And uh, of course, Luis Davidovic from the Academy, also present 
always present in everything of the academy, so we always find us here working and doing things. And uh, of course, uh, Professor Jose Franco, the former president of the Mexican Academy of Science, uh, he has finished this time recently, so thank you very much, Pepe, for being here. And uh, some other distinguished professor like uh, Jose Luis Moran, who is the vice president of the Mexican Academy of Science. Uh, I like also, and also he's the chairman of our regional committee, so he's wearing two caps or two hats. And uh, our dear friend uh, as well, Ernesto Fernandez Porcuch, uh, from the UNESCO office. And then, uh, so many important participants from different parts of Latin America. Uh, so we are frankly, frankly very happy that finally we could organize this meeting here, thanks to the effort done by Elisa, by Gerson, and the, by the Academy of Science. So uh, welcome on behalf of each room, on behalf of the Academy of Science, and we are very happy that finally we could start, we could start walking through this uh, connection of the natural and social science, and uh, we hope that this will grow properly and that, that we will be able to, need to achieve important results in uh, our endeavor for the work of future earths, uh, sustainable energy, disasters and all of this activity that each and the academy are helping us to, to go on. Thank you to all of you, all the participants. Thank you.